Hello, my name is Father Columba Kelly, a monk of St. Minard Arch Abbey in St. Minard, Indiana. I became a monk in 1950s and I was sent to Rome in 1956 to get a licentiate in theology and to go on to get a doctorate in sacred music at the Pontifical Institute of Sacred Music in Rome, which I finished just as the council was finishing its document on the liturgy. I then returned in 1964 to St. Minard where I was made choir master and therefore responsible for all the singing at both the mass and at the liturgy of the hours by the monks. And at that time we were doing it only in Latin. My job then, then became to transfer the monks to, from the Latin text to an English text that was being produced by the, the Roman authorities. And so we first write it for the mass and then we eventually we, we began writing antiphons, responsories, and psalmody to use for the Liturgy of the Hours. And this went on from 1967 when we first started singing the Liturgy of the Hours in English. And from that point on, we sang these antiphons that I had been composing. And then uh, recently, Oregon Catholic Press offered to publish a set of the entrance and communion antiphons that are present in the new Roman Missal. And I wanted to re uh, established the life of the entrance and the communion antiphons, which were part of the propers of the church and the great heritage, which helped set the theme and the topic for each Sunday and, and feast day mass. So I knew they were very important, but there was no musical settings for them. But I also added to that a short refrain based upon that antiphon, so that the congregation would have something easy to sing in alternation with the psalm verses which would be used. So for instance, the antiphon would be sung by a scola, the refrain intoned and then sung by the people and then alternated with psalm verses from the psalter and then re returned to the antiphon at the end. So that it would frame the entrance procession either at the entrance or during the reception of communion. And, and this, the innovation was to add this uh, refrain so the congregation would be involved as the council wanted active participation by the congregation. So then we have something for the choir, something for solo uh, cantor, and something for the congregation to be sung as part of the liturgy. These are the actual texts of the liturgy and not something to be sung at mass. They are singing the liturgy.